So today we're going to be looking at tags in Clavio and exactly how to use them to get the most out of your uh, tagging system. So first things first, we need to understand what tags are and how to use them. Tags are basically a way to segment your campaigns or your contacts or your lists into different groups in Clavio. Now, a good example of this is if you want to send different emails to different uh, countries. So maybe you're translating your emails from English to Spanish because you're selling in both Spain and the United States or, you know, different countries around the world. Uh, you could also use tags to indicate interest in different products or different product groups. So you might have people that are interested in lipstick and you might have people that are interested in eyeliner. Um, so you can use tags for that as well. Um, but that's kind of the two main ways you could use tags. You could also use it to identify genders and other things like that if you wanted to. So for this example, we'll just assume that we want to add a tag for everyone that's in the uh, US uh, country. So if we go to lists and segments, uh, we'll be adding this tag via a segment. So we've already set the segment up here. Anyone that's in the US and uh, when you do that, you just need to create a list or a segment. And you can either do it from a list that you're importing or a segment that you want to create. Select whatever um, properties you want here. So you could do proximity to a location. Person is within blah, blah, miles of the US. And then you'd select the tag here. Now I've already set that up, so I'm not going to set it up a second time. But you can see here, that anyone that matches those segment conditions will be added to this segment and if they at any time don't match those conditions they'll be removed from that segment so the tags are going to be applied and removed automatically for you based on when those people um, are in or are not in the segments that you set up for those tags so that's one way that you can do it you can also set up tags based on your flows and you can set up tags in your campaigns so if we uh, edit the flow, and here, if it's an existing flow, you want to click on the arrow, edit details, and then tags, and then you could add a tag here. So you could have a flow, say a browser abandonment, uh, that is triggered anytime someone visits a lipstick page, or a lipstick product page, and you want to tag them with the tag of lipstick, or interested in lipstick. And that way, when you're sending a campaign later on, you can find all the people that have ever visited a um, lipstick-related page, and then you can send your emails out to that segment of the list. Another way that you can use tags is to add them to campaigns that you're sending. So you create your campaign, campaign name, and then select the tag here as well. So tags are, are really useful when you're creating segments because it enables you to bring the segment across the entire of Clavio. Um, you can use dynamic tags, which are the ones that we set up for the segments. You can use static tags, which are those added for flows and campaigns because they only get added once and then they don't usually get removed. That's why we call them a static tag. Um, and then you can, of course, manually add and remove tags by importing lists or by doing them manually uh, via, via uh, different segments or lists that you've got set up in Clavio. So that's how to use tags in Clavio, um, and they really come in handy when you're sending campaigns on a regular basis because you can target people based on their lists, you can target them based on their uh, languages that they speak and all that sort of stuff. Hi, I'm Mitch Bayless, and if you're looking for someone to help you with your business automation, then click the button below to schedule your free call today. And if you found this video useful, remember to click like and also subscribe to our channel for more videos.